This pool here in Coppers Cove is a welcome relief from the heat, but come tomorrow, it'll be closed. South Park Pool in Coppers Cove will be closing starting Saturday due to a lack of lifeguards, which are crucial to pool safety. The lifeguards spend a lot of time on stand, um, talking to the children, reminding them not to run. And then when we're not open, they're actually still training to get better at their job. Now folks will only be able to use the pool on the other side of town. The City Park Pool is going to be busier and then we're going to be able to staff more guards here to try to accommodate the South Park loss. City Park Pool is bigger, but lifeguards at South Park say the move to City Park Pool isn't good for everyone. I've met a lot of the elderly couples that come here and they really enjoy coming here to get away from the crowds of kids that are typically at City Park. So they like coming here because they can do their water aerobics and it's kind of sad because they were a little upset that the pool's closing. Current lifeguards are urging others to help reopen South Park Pool by applying for the job they love. It's a lot of fun. I mean, if you, if you want to get a nice tan, it's good. Come work here. <laughs> it's a a lot of fun. You make some good relationships with some people and so it's just a really good time overall. Prospective lifeguards need to be at least 16 years old to apply and fulfill the American Red Cross certification requirements for lifeguards. There's still about six lifeguards short and until those positions are filled, South Park Pool will have to stay closed. In Coppers Cove, Adam Schindler, 25 News.